Greeting and welcome all on behalf of Nimi Chennai. I am G. Rajeshwarna from NSDI Chennai. Our today's topic of our class is safety practice on safety science. At the end of this class, you shall be able to state the responsibilities of employers on safety practice and also the responsibilities of employees on safety practice and you can able to list out the four major types of safety signs and you can also describe the safety signs. Responsibilities. So, safety it does not just happen. Safety has to be organized and achieved like a work process. The law states that both an employer and his employees have the responsibility on this behalf. So, let us see the responsibilities of an employer and employees. The effort a firm puts into planning and organizing work, training people, engaging skilled and competent workers, maintaining plant and equipment and checking, inspecting and keeping records, all of this contributes to the safety in the workplace. The employer will be responsible for the equipment provided, the working condition, what the employees are asked to do and the training given. As an employer has some responsibilities, an employee also have some responsibility. So, employees responsibilities. As an employee, you will be responsible for the way you use the equipment, how you do your job. The use you make of your training and your general attitude towards safety. Remember one thing, we are the responsible for our own action and the effects on others also. So, we should not take the safety responsibility lightly. Let us see the rules and procedure at work. What you must do by law is often included in the various rules and procedures laid down by your employer. They may be written down but more often than not are just the way a firm does things. You will learn these from other workers as you do your job. They may govern the issue and use of tools protective clothing and equipment, reporting procedures, emergency drills, access to restricted areas and many other matters. Such rules are essential. They contribute to the efficiency and safety of the job. Next, what we are going to see is safety signs. Safety signs. In general, when we are seeing on any construction works or any industrial sites or any renovating work on uh, road sites, we used to see some signs and notices. Some are very familiar to us like no smoking, caution, danger, men at work likewise. Some of the signs are not that much familiar to us but it is our responsibility to learn what they mean. It may be inform the danger ahead and we should not ignore them. The safety signs mainly fall into four major categories. They are recognized by the special shape and the colors. Some safety signs have only just a symbols. Other signs may have a figure or letter are provided with extra information. The four major categories are prohibitory signs, mandatory signs, warning signs and information signs. So, each signs will have the specific shape and colors and remains consistent all over the world as per the safety regulations. Prohibitory signs will have the shape is in circular, red border and cross bar black symbol on white background. It means shows it must not be done. Some examples of prohibitory signs are this sign says that smoking and naked flames are prohibited here and this sign says that do not extinguish the fire with water. 
Likewise, this sign says that this area is pedestrians prohibited area. Next one is mandatory signs. This shape is in circular and the color will be white symbol on blue background. And meaning of these signs are shows what must be done. Some examples of mandatory signs are this sign says that wearing head protection aid is mandatory like helmet. Wearing eye protection aid is mandatory like goggles. Wearing hearing protection aid is mandatory like ear guard and ear muff. Wearing foot protection aid is mandatory. Example, safety shoes. Wearing hand protection aid is mandatory. Example, gloves. Wearing safety harness or safety belt is mandatory. Wearing respiratory protection aid is mandatory like respiratory mask. Use adjustable guard while working with that particular job. Wash your hands here. Next we will see about warning signs. The shape of the warning sign is triangular and the color is yellow background with black border and black symbol meaning of the warning signs. It warns of hazard or dangers ahead. Some examples of warning signs are this sign warns that this place is risk of fire like this workplace is risk of electric shock. So have to be very careful while working with electrical equipment. This area contains substances such as poisonous and highly concentrated acids which have an immediate and severe toxic effect. Availability of materials causing skin corrosion or burns or eye damage on contact or that are corrosive to metals. It means handle with care. There is a risk of ionizing radiations. This workplace is risk of laser beam and so be cautious. This place or the material is risk of explosion. So, handle with care. This workplace is having chances of overhead hazards or injuries. So, follow the safety rules. General warning of risk or danger on workplaces. Warning on handling of overhead loads in the workplaces. Warning about the fragile or weak floor or roof or stairs on workplaces. This sign gives warning of possibilities of operating forklift truck in and around the workplace. Hence, be caution on that. Next, we will see about information signs. Information signs shape is square or oblong. The colors will be white symbols on green background. Meaning of the signs are it indicates or gives information on safety provisions. Some examples of information signs are gives information about the equipment and facilities available like first aid box or emergency switch or alarm switch. They also give information about exits and escape route like emergency exit way staircase direction like workplace safety promotes the wellness of employees and employers as well better safety equates better health when the employer is healthier he can do his work efficiently and he will be happier in general in simply saying safer the work environment more productivity it is I hope you all understand the responsibilities of employers and employees and also you know the safety signs and the meaning as well. Thank you all and see you in our next video.